Welcome back to Terry's Lounge, folks. I'm your host, Toilet Terry. We are going to start this episode with, yes, you guessed it. As usual, how many dad jokes can I tell in one minute? Followed by how many yo mama jokes can I tell in one minute? And then followed by how many storytelling jokes can I tell in one minute? Let's get started with the dad jokes, shall we? Why are elevator jokes always good? Because they work on so many levels. How does a vampire always start a letter? To whom it may concern. What do you call cheese that's not yours? Nacho cheese. Why don't eggs tell jokes? Because they would crack each other up. What did one plate say to the other plate? Lunch is on me. Why was the broom late for work? It swept in. What is a skeleton's least favorite room in the house? The living room. What did zero say to eight? Nice belt. Nice work on the dad jokes. Now for the yo mama jokes. Yo mama's so old, her social security number is one. Yo mama's so short, she can use a sock as a sleeping bag. Yo mama is so poor, she chases the garbage truck with a grocery list. Yo mama's so lazy, she stayed up all night trying to catch up on her sleep. Yo mama is so hairy, her barber cuts her hair with a lawnmower. Yo mama's so short, she went to go see Santa and he said, get back to work. Yo mama is so fat, even her shadow weighs more than you. Yo mama's so old, she has a signed copy of the Bible. Yo mama is so dumb, she thought Taco Bell was a Mexican phone company. Yo mama is so hairy, she got a ticket for not wearing a helmet on her motorcycle. Yo mama is so dumb, she climbed over a glass wall to see what was on the other side. Nice work on the yo mama jokes. Now for the storytelling jokes. A duck walked into a store and he said to the man running the store, hey, got any grapes? The man said, no, we don't have any grapes. He said, okay, and he walked away. The next day, the duck came back to the store he said to the man running the store, hey, guy need grapes? Now irritated, the man says to him, no, I told you yesterday, we don't have any grapes. If you ask again, if you come in and ask again, I'm gonna nail your beak to the floor. The duck said, okay, and then he waddled away. The very next day, he comes back, hey, guy need nails? The clerk said, no, we don't have nails. And then the duck says, okay, but hey, got any grapes? Well, I hope you guys got a good kick out of those jokes. I know I did. It is now time for... Greetings, Toiletarians! I am your host, Toilet Terry, and you guys are all watching Toilet Talk with Terry. That's me, obviously. The discussion topic for this episode is I'm so clumsy. Let's talk about clumsiness. The talent that we all share for turning a perfectly normal day into a scene from a disaster movie. I'm so clumsy, I can trip over nothing. Literally nothing. One time, I, I tripped over a flat surface. A flat surface! My friends were like, did you seriously just fall? 
No, I'm practicing my interpretive dancing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ever tried carrying a bunch of things at once? Too many things at once? I know I have numerous times. This one, this one time I'm like, yeah, I can handle all these groceries in one trip. 10 seconds later, it's like a scene from a grocery store apocalypse. Cans rolling everywhere, oranges bouncing around. I'm just standing there like, I, I swear this never happens to me. <laughs> Let's talk about spilling things. I can never drink my morning coffee without wearing it. I'll get dressed in the morning, look at the mirror, think to myself, how long is it going to take to ruin this outfit today? Spoiler alert, it's 10 minutes. <laughs> also, have any of you ever tried to catch something falling, a falling object in midair, only to make things worse? This one time I'm at a party, I accidentally knock over a bowl of chips. I try to catch it in midair, only to make things worse. The chips end up flying everywhere like confetti. Everyone at the party is looking at me like, what the heck did you do? I'm like, I'm just here to add excitement. You're welcome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stairs are my nemesis. I can go up them, no problem. But going down the stairs, it's like an audition for America's Funniest Home Videos. I'm like, one step, two steps. Oh, look, the floor's coming up to greet me. <laughs> and let's not forget technology. I swear. Trying to plug my phone into an outlet in the dark is like a game of operation. Careful, don't touch the sides or you'll... Drop the phone under the bed. <laughs> Great, now I need a search party. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But you know what? The bottom line is being clumsy makes life or keeps life interesting. You never know when you will turn a simple task into a comedy show. So here's to all the clumsy people out there, keeping everyone around them entertained one trip at a time. So I guess the moral of this episode is life's too short to be graceful fall with style. And that's all I have to say about that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, this discussion topic. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you liked it. Hit that sub button for more upcoming content, which will be great. Y'all won't want to miss it? All right. Keep it real. Peace out. It is now time again for impressions. I'm going to be doing 10 random impressions starting right now. <laughs> Bueller. Bueller. And now for today's weather. And, um, good day, mate. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, mate? Oh. I am homosexual. I am gay. Uh... Yeah, man, you the man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. <laughs> I have to go potty. I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah? Well, young man, you need to shut up. Shut up. Shut up. In 0 0.1 miles. Learn tip, or I mean turn left. Well, hope you guys got a good kick out of those impressions. It is now time for... What do y'all think of this idea? I printed out a bunch of Mad Lib sheets with fill in the blanks on them. 
I gave them to my friends and said, fill in the blanks and use the most ridiculous words. And then I will post a video of me reading it for the first time, trying not to laugh. Shall we? This story is entitled Bedtime Story. Once upon a time in a far off land, there lived a gay dragon named Eeyore. Every night before going to bed, Eeyore loved to fart a good story. One night, a gorgeous prince arrived and asked for help. The prince's kingdom was under attack by an army of chicken butt, and he needed Eeyore to use his fiery breath to defeat them. Eeyore agreed and flew off into the night sky. With his hot flames, the dragon defeated the chicken butt and saved the prince's kingdom. From that night on, the prince and Eeyore became best friends best friends and told each other bedtime stories every night okay then well that's all we have time for today here on tall tales with terry see you on the next episode i wrote down random questions and then i had my assistant teddy tidwell Write down random words. 10 questions, 10 random words. I read the questions, he reads the words, and whatever the words are, are the answers. Let's get started, shall we? Who is the strangest person you have ever met? Frumpy. Use one word to describe Joe Biden. Fartlek. What is your favorite planet in the solar system? Quibble. If you were a supercontinent, which one would you be? Gadzooks. What is your least favorite word? Dingleberry. What is your least favorite TV show? Gobsmacked. What is your least favorite animal? Wampus. What is the last book you read? Ballyhoo. What is the dumbest movie you have ever seen? Mugwump. What is your favorite historical era? Shenanigans. Well, that's all we have time for, folks. I hope you guys got a kick out of that just as much as I did. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button for more upcoming content, which will be amazing. Y'all won't want to miss it. All right, keep it real. Peace out.